Welcome to this video. Now we're going to cover a coding interview question, FizzBuzz. Write a program that outputs the string representation of numbers from 1 to n. But for multiples of 3, it should output Fidge instead of the number. And for the multiples of 5, output Budge. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, upward FizzBudge. This is the problem statement. If you are given n equals to 5, then we have number from 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 1, we have to print 1. For 2, we have to print 2. For 3, we have to print Fizz because 3 is multiples of 3 then 4 in this case we have to print 4 then we have 5 5 is the multiple of 5 so we have to print buzz in this case we have to return this list 1 2 fidge here we have fidge because this 3 is multiples of 3 then 4 then 5 here we have 5 because 5 is multiples of 5. Okay, if we are given n equals to 5, we have to return this list. If you are given n equals to 15, then we have number from 1 to 15. For this input 15, we have to return this list. Here 1, 2, then fidge instead 3 because 3 is the multiple of 3 then 4 then 5 here we have budge because 5 is multiples of 5 then 6 for 6 6 is multiples of 3 so fidge then 7 then 8 then fidge here 9 because because 9 is multiples of 3 then 10 10 is multiples of 5 so budge then 11 12. 12 is multiples of 3, so fidge, then 13, then 14, then 15. Here, 15 is the multiples of both 3 and 5. For that, we are put here fidge budge. Okay, for this given input, we have to return this list. Now, let's see how my solution might look like in pseudo code. First, I'm going to declare a function fizz budge that takes a number as input. Let's suppose that we're given n equals to 5 for sake of understanding. Then we're going to declare an empty list. After that, we're going to run a loop for i from 1 to n. First, we're going to check if i is multiples of 5 and multiples of 3, then we're going to add fizzbudge. If i is multiples of 3 then we're going to add fidge if i is multiples of 5 then we're going to add budge else we're going to convert i into a string and then we're going to add that to our list at the end we'll return this list okay let's see how it works for this n equals to when you have n equals to 5 for first iteration the value of i is 1 1 is not multiples of 5 and 3, so it's converted to a string and the string is added to the list. So in this case, we have 1. Then for next iteration, i equals to 2. 2 is not multiples of 5 and 2 is not multiples of 3. So we're going to convert 2 into a string and then we're going to add that to our list. 2. For next iteration, the value of i is 3. We see 3 is multiples of 3. So in this case, we will add fit. Let's suppose that f for fit. Then for next iteration, we have 4. 4 is not multiples of 5. Also, 4 is not multiples of 3. So let's convert into a string and let's add that string. 4. Then for next iteration, the value of i is 5. 5 is multiples of 5 right and not multiples of 3 in this case we're going to add b for budge 
At the end, we have to return this list. The solution will take bigger of n time complexity, where n is the given number, and this also takes bigger of n space complexity to construct the list. Hope this concept was clear. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, let us know. Thanks for watching this video.